Welcome to Maths TV. This is step by step revision series of videos, and we are. This is second part of circle theorems. In first video, part one, we have gone through circles, terms, and rule one, rule two, and rule three. If you have not watched the video, just watch part first first. and today we'll be starting from this rule part this is uh, rule 4 the diameter bisector a card bisects a card at right angle so this is the diameter we know and this is the card if this diameter is bisecting this card bisecting this card mean dividing into two equal portions this portion is equal to this portion if this diameter if this diameter is dividing this card into two equal portions then this angle will be 90 degree this is by this theorem we have seen this and we will be writing the reason or justification in question a diameter bisects a card at right angles so this is a uh, rule 4 we can apply this rule on this question this is the sample question which i have selected for you and if we go through this is the circle provided and this is the uh, radius this one is center and this is radius and this is the card and this is diameter so diameter is bisecting these two lines are showing that these two are equal parts so it's bisecting the card according to the rule which we have just gone through this angle will be 90 degree so if this angle is 90 degree we can find this c because triangle which is this triangle triangle interior angles of a triangle are adding up to 180 degree so this will be c will be equal to 180 minus this 90 degree and also minus 37 degrees so we can find this and you can calculate 180 minus 90 minus 37 this will be equal to 54 degrees so c will be equal to 54 degrees we have applied this rule and the rule this is the rule uh, a diameter bisects a chord at right angles so this is the rule and next rule number 5 is um the angle subtended at the center of a circle is double the angle this rule says that for example this is the circle diagram and from this arc one angle is at the center and from the same arc and another angle is up to the circumference and up then same arc position so then this angle will be half of this or you can say this angle is double of this one so this is how we can understand this rule the angle subtended at the center of the circle this angle is double of this angle this line can can touch the circumference anywhere like for example over here or over here any side this is just for your um, explanation they have drawn this um, like this center angle is to be and this is b this is double of this angle this is angle at the circumference and this is angle at the center so this angle will be double of this angle to practice this rule we can go through this sample question which we have selected uh, this is the radius and at the center so if we consider this one as arc this is arc and angle at the center 
is 80 degree and angle from the same arc this angle which is extending up to the circumference this is f we have to find this and we know that this is double of this or you can say this f is half of this so half of 80 will be 40 so this angle f is 40 degrees so we can write f is equal to 80 by 2 which is equal to 40 degrees similarly we can go through another example and this one if we go through this example also this is sample question this is 94 and arc we can consider this one like for example this a b is arc this one and this is the angle at the center which is 94 and this is angle from the same arc up to the circumference so this angle will be half of 94 so angle a we can say this is c so angle a c b a c b is equal to 94 by 2 by the same rule which we have just gone through and the rule is the angle subtended at the center of the circle is double the angle subtended at the circumference by the same arc so this will be the reason which we will be mentioning for this and if we have to find this value of g and we know this is state line so state line angle will be 180 degree so g will be equal to 180 degree minus this 94 divided by 2 will be will 94 divided by 2 will be 47 so this angle is 47 so here it will be 180 minus 47 so 180 minus 47 will be 133 this g will be 133 degrees this example is also by use of the same rule if we go through the next rule next rule is rule number six so far we have done five rules this is rule number six and this rule says angle subtended angles subtended by an arc in the same segment are equal uh, diagram for example this one this is the uh, arc this one and from here up to the circumference and this point and another angle up to the circumference and from the same point so these two are the same points and these angles are starting from the same point touching the circumference and ending to the same point so these two angles will be equal to each other if this is 60 this will be 60 if this is 40 this will be 40 though both will be same and the justification or rule we will be writing as angles subtended by an arc in the same segment or equal now we can take question, uh, sample question for it. If you see this is the circle given and if we mark this one as A, B, C and D and this is as O, uh, this is C so I will take it as E so that this should not be confusing. So A, B, E, D, th these are the points, O is the center of the circle and see this is given so if we start from b and touch this circumference up to e and then move to this a so our arc is starting from a up to b so these are two angles one angle is this one which is touching the circumference at e and the second angle is also starting from b and up to this point d and again touching to the this reaching to the point a so these are two angles this one b e a and b d a these two angles will be equal top angles basically we sometimes we are saying top angles in a circle will be equal to each other so angles subtended by an arc in the same segment are equal if this is 36 this will also be 36 we have to reach to this angle 
so this is given as 130 so if we add up all three angles c plus these two should add up to 180 degree so we can write c is equal to 180 minus 130 minus 36 so these two angles if we subtract from 180 we will get the value of c so 180 minus 130 minus 36 this will be equal to 14 so c value is equal to 14 we can write here 14 degrees this is how we can reach to this angle rule number seven is this one so for before going through rule number seven you should understand a term which is cyclic quadrilateral quadrilateral you know is having quad mean four sides so one two three four sides but when we are saying cyclic quadrilateral, cyclic quadrilateral is a special type of quadrilateral which is having all four vertices on circumference of the circle. If you check one, two, three, four, all four vertices of quadrilateral are on the circumference of the circle. So this type of quadrilateral is known as cyclic quadrilateral. So in case of cyclic quadrilateral opposite angles like angle A and angle C, angle B, this one and angle D. So the, they are adding up to, these are opposite angles. So they are adding up to 180 degree. So we will say that opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral sum to 180 degree. Uh, so for example, in this case, a plus C angle A plus angle C will be equal to 180 degree and angle B plus angle D will be adding up to 180 degree. So this is also rule which we are using in different questions. We will go through the sample question. Okay, this is the sample question and if you see this is like A, B, C and D, this one C, D, E, we can take this one as E and this one as F. So this one, if I shade the upper portion of the diagram, so this is one cyclic quadrilateral, A, B, C, D, is a cyclic quadrilateral, which is having all four vertices at uh, the circumference. So this one, like this. So opposite angles, like opposite angle of C is 108, this angle is C plus 108, so this will be 180 minus 108 will be equal to 72, so this angle will be 72 degrees and this plus this should add up to 180 degrees, so these two are opposite angles, so we can write 180 minus 79. 180 minus 79 is equal to 101 so this angle will be equal to 101 degrees so this is how we have applied on this one on lower if we see this one this is also cyclic quadrilateral because all four verses are on the circumference of this circle so this angle should add up to this one and it should be 180 degree so a plus 121 should be 180 degree so uh, 180 minus 121 will be equal to 59 so this a angle is basically 59 degrees by the same rule this is basically the rule opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral sum up to 180 degree today we have gone through these rules rule number four which is diameter a diameter bisects a card at right angles the next one was the angle subtended at the center of circle is double the angle subtended at the circumference by the same arc and we have gone through this rule number six which is angle subtended by an arc in the same segment are equal and this one seventh rule opposite angles in a cyclic quadrilateral sum up, sum up to 180 degree hopefully you understood everything there are still remaining uh, more rules which we'll be going through and then we'll be going through different uh, other 
segments also for circle theorem so this is the end of part second you will you can go through part three for the rest of the rules also and part one we have covered uh, rule number one two three and circle definitions hope you were understanding this each and everything i'll be waiting for your comments thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe like this also take care bye